Hey guys, looks like we're on. Uh, this is the first video of the new year. This is a brand new thing for me with a webcam and with video and all that stuff. So I'm going to play with it. I'm going to have some fun. Um, I call myself the nacho nose picker because I'm extremely smart ass in real life. So hey, here it is. Um, my point is I haven't done a video for a long time and I'll probably do a few here and there. I don't do a lot anymore because I'm trying to build my business and I'm growing as fast as I can. Uh, as much as time permits, and we're all busy with other things, so I'm not just I'm not going to dedicate my life to uh, thrifting videos and haul videos, but I am going to do a few because this technology is a lot of fun. Everybody can jump in, everybody can thrift, everybody can make money, everybody can post their stuff on YouTube, can do webcams, can do all this stuff, and you know. So I'm about to turn 40 years old, and I'll be honest with you, I feel like a teenager. I've always kind of been one at heart anyway. So before I jump in and go through my haul video today, this is the first time I've been out. Uh, thrifting this year and really found a ton of good stuff that stuff anybody can find anywhere not home run items just good solid bread and butter items that you can build your business around uh, but I want to discuss one thing people say to be successful you have to have passion uh, you have to believe in your product you have to buy you have to own you have to wear your product if you sell used clothing by all means wear it it isn't a big deal how hypocritical are you if you run around to the stores and you buy a bunch of stuff and you sell it expecting other people to wear it but you don't wear it yourself? Um, in my opinion, it's pretty hypocritical. So I'm going to go through my wardrobe with you really, really quickly. This hat, 50 cents, garage sale. This shirt, $2, Goodwill. The t-shirt, $2, Goodwill. I, I mean, I'm wearing all of $10 worth of clothing today. My blue jeans, right here, if you can see them. These are Ralph Lauren Polo Blue Jeans, $4, Goodwill. Underwear and socks, I won't discuss, sorry. But these Clark's shoes, hey, three bucks, Goodwill. So three plus four is seven, plus two and two is 14 and 50 cents. $15 and 50 cents that I'm wearing right now. Why? Because I believe in what I do. I don't ever have to shop for name brand stuff at retail prices again. So here's why. Let's move in. I will tell you what I bought, what I paid for it. Uh, I may or may not tell you exactly what I expect to sell for it. Most things sell in the 20 to 30 range anyway, so it's not really a big deal. But this is the Goodwill receipt. If you can see down there at the bottom, which I guess you can't, 33 items purchased, $78 worth of stuff. I found a red barb half off day that honestly is what sucked me in. I went in for a few things, the next thing you know, boom, I've got a full cart, just like the rest of you guys probably do. Uh, first thing that I found were silver tab baggy jeans. These are black wash. They're discontinued. They should sell. I'm going to go through three bags worth of stuff. Seven for all mankind. Another good brand to pick up. Four dollars. English laundry dress shirt with, of course, flip cuffs. Three dollars. There's another one right next to it. Well, that one's Ben Sherman. That's a Nordstrom brand. Sells $30, bucks, 3 dollars And you know what? While I'm thinking about it, don't ever be intimidated by these dry cleaning tags at the bottom. That's actually a good sign. It means that somebody probably took care of their shirt enough to dry clean it. They just left it there. Got to check them over for stains, though, because sometimes the stains don't come out. Uh, what is this? This is a vintage Banana Republic shirt. How can you tell the tag? That is a vintage tag, but it's just a khaki, camel tan colored um, dress shirt. And there's the other English laundry that I found. This one has a little ring around the collar. I've got some laundry to do. Um, try and get that stain out. If not, what? I'm out three bucks. Big deal. Another flip, flip cuff. You can't beat flip cuffs. They're modern families making them famous uh, with cam. AG jeans right there. They don't sell as good as they used to, but they still sell. And you know what? My Goodwill's introduced green barbs now. I don't know what they mean. I think it's an extra week worth of stuff. Um, I've not seen that color before. Anyway, Adidas, just a standard polo shirt. I don't think it has any cool logos on it. Nope. In fact, the logo on it doesn't even stand out. Here's a couple of neat ones. And that'll end bag one, but shirts are three bucks. Tommy Bahama polo shirt, thank you. It's a brown one, it's pretty cool. 
These are lighter weight. Usually Tommy Bahamas are pretty heavy, and you got to be careful because they sometimes need to go priority. They get over 13 ounces pretty quick. Um, there's another one, though. I found two right next to each other. A lot of times when you're going through the racks and you're scanning through, you find something, and it's a good brand, turn your radar on high because they tend to kind of put things together in chunks, and once you get into a run, wham, 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 you'll get into a good run of clothing before you get back into the junk. Uh, what are we, back to blue jeans here? You'll see I'm bouncing around because I didn't organize this stuff ahead of time. Oh, well. BKE, took a flyer on it. Um, why? Red barb. Can you see that red barb? There we go. We'll put it all the way over there. Red barb, two bucks. I mean, you know, for two dollars for a pair of jeans. I can't get too hurt. Another popular thing, another red barb for you. Where am I going? I'm backwards. I would have done real well in meteorology school, huh? I can't even read the weather charts. Big Stitches. All the big stitching stuff is pretty popular. This is a brand I have not heard of before. It was an $8 pair of blue jeans. I can't even read it, um, but I'm going to do some research, take a chance on it. Most of the stuff you'll see are slam dunks. I don't take chances on things. American Eagle blue jeans, it's just, they're an easy $20 in a lot of cases. Oh, this one's the keeper I bought for myself. It's a just an Eddie Bauer, you know, flannel shirt that I'm going to add to my pile, so it goes over there. It was $1.50. I mean, what do I care? So, actually, I could take this t-shirt off, put that on, and downgrade myself by 50 cents. PGA Tour, not a great brand of polo, if you've ever heard me talk about polos before, but with the red barb, there, with the red barb, it was $1.50. I'll take a shot at it, because I'm looking for the keywords of PGA Tour, and maybe the logo with a little golfer in it. I think that they may sell better than I think they do. Um, but to be honest with you, I'm not real thrilled with the brand. Never have been. This is just a standard t-shirt. What does that say? Oh, it's a Batman t-shirt. There you go. That's why I got it. It was any of the comic book stuff and Batman stuff that should sell okay. Here's a red barbed hoodie. But... College apparel, especially Notre Dame, and this is a hooded sweatshirt. Notre Dame sells pretty well. Um, other big co big colleges, uh, Duke for basketball, Kentucky, Kansas, um, should sell pretty well. Other things for football, LSU, Alabama, SEC stuff, Georgia, um, all that kind of stuff. If you live in those areas, Florida, Florida State, just when you get it, buy it, try it, especially Alabama these past three or four years. Um, take a flyer on them. I mean, what do you got to lose? It's got good keywords. It'll draw viewers in, and that never hurts. Another red barb. This happens to be, what's that say, Scott Barber? Yeah, I have no idea. It's a double XL shirt. It was $1.50. I just want to test different things. This is how you learn. This is how you find things out. Um, I almost didn't buy this. The red barb sold it for me. Uh, gosh, I can't get that red barb lined up but it's a Callaway golf it's a vest it's just a golfer's vest um, you know they don't sell super well but they do sell this was another red barb I found these on the new racks at Goodwill today which kind of blew my mind um, Chico's which again is a little overplayed but for a dollar fifty on this kind of paisley colorful print I mean I can't miss I can unload that thing at twelve bucks and still make money on it uh, I'm not real thrilled about doing that I'm going to try and get 20 to 25 out of it. Uh, Robert Barraquette is another brand that is a Canadian brand. It's a pretty decent brand. I don't know if you can see that or not. There you go. Dry cleaning tag, red barb, 100% linen shirt. Great brand. It's whether or not people see it and will actually follow it because Daniel Cremeau is another brand that is a decent quality brand name. It's a great shirt, but it doesn't have a lot of uh, name recognition. So your people in... Florida or Seattle may not be searching for those because maybe it's a Dillard's or a, a Midwestern type regional brand and that may be what holds it back on eBay. I don't really know. Um, so I don't really buy that stuff very often but if I can get it on $1.50 a lot of times I'll throw it in my store and see what happens. Another Red Barb. This is another Adidas. These Climacool shirts are cool. Be careful with white. White, you've really got to check these over for pit stains. And you've really got to check them over for ring around the collar. As long as it doesn't show any of that stuff, no snags or pulls, you're, you're probably okay selling it. But then you have to photograph it, and that's tough too. 
So I typically stay away from white. Uh, purple, red barb, Nike golf, if you can believe that. Somebody gave up this purple Nike shirt. Might be that logo on there. That logo is a regional. Um, it's a local country club of mine. So I know where it comes from, but that it's not a real obtrusive logo, so it's not really going to turn a lot of people off. It looks more like a bowling shirt than anything. Another red barb. Go over there with it. Um, dollar fifty for this one again. Nike. You just you're not going to go wrong with Nike. It has a lot of name recognition. I can unload those for nine ninety nine tomorrow. Now I won't. I'm going to put them in my store and sell them for more like you know twenty to twenty five, maybe even thirty bucks. But I just thought I'd let you know. Yeah, I bought a lot of polos today. I've gotten away from polos quite a bit, but I'm, I'm starting to get back to them. I think that's because it's wintertime and they're staying on the shelves long enough for me to find them again. Uh, whereas in the summertime, I really had to start looking for other things. Um, so if you talk about seasonal stuff, I still buy them. I'll buy short sleeve polo shirts in the wintertime. It doesn't bother me. Uh, second year around, it seems like that's when I find them the most. Carnoustie is a brand. It's a two-star brand, um, which is you know kind of middle of the road. It doesn't have a lot of name recognition, but it is a great shirt. And at a dollar fifty, I can't miss another Nike. I mean, I hit the mother load with Nike today. This one may or may not be yep, another red bar, dollar fifty. Another Adidas. Get that one in there so you can see it. There's there it's shining. There we go. Another red bar, dollar fifty. I don't worry too much about color. I don't even worry too much about size. I would tend to stay away from the mediums and the smalls. Uh, they're a little bit harder to sell, but they do sell. So you don't shy away from them completely. If that's what you happen to be finding in your thrift stores, that's what you happen to be finding. Is this another t-shirt? This was an Australian t-shirt I thought was kind of cool. It's got keywords. It's got a car. It's got an old vintage truck. It's got dingoes or dogs. And it basically says fast cruising on it. I can use these keywords to sell this t-shirt. The brand it's an Australian brand. I have no flippin' idea where this shirt came from. But again, with a red barb, it's a buck. I, I, I can't lose for a dollar. This one really caught my eye. That's a Bon Jovi t-shirt. I flip it around the back. Is it a concert t-shirt? Looks like it is. It's got tour stops on it. So to be honest with you, Bon Jovi's big enough. I'll buy him for a buck, right? <laughs> First time I've ever bought a bra. And yeah, I felt kind of goofy standing in line. But new with tags and Nike. Sportswear, you, you're not going to go wrong with Nike. New with tags, I had to take a shot at it. I looked it up on my phone before I bought it. I paid $2 for that bra. And believe it or not, it's going to sell for $35 to $40 bucks new. So it turned out to be a good investment. Another pair of blue jeans. Here's a brand that a lot of people may or may not know about. You should. Chip and Pepper. If you can read that. That's a brand. It's an American-made brand. And American-made blue jeans seem to do the best. I've had luck with that brand. And, yeah, I'm sharing a little secret with you. But you know what? I don't care because you didn't find those blue jeans. I did. You can go find your own. Rockin' Republic. Again, not as popular as they used to be, but they still sell. So if you hear people talking all the time about, oh, I, you know, I used to get 50 bucks for those. I don't care. I paid $4 for them. If I get 30 for them, great. It doesn't, it, it's not going to offend me. Um, it, don't get too caught up in the stuff where people say it's no longer a great brand. If you can still make money on it, buy it. it the object of this game is to make money. Am I right? This is a pair of Clarks for my wife, just a cute pair of heels cost, them, cost me three bucks and she's been looking for a black pair of casual shoes so again not only do I believe in my product but my family's starting to believe in my product my daughter's 13 years old and she's walking around in diesel jeans why because dad found them for like two bucks she doesn't know any different but I don't have to go to the mall and spend 45 to 50 to a hundred dollars on a pair of blue jeans anymore it allows me to keep more money in my pocket and allows me to have fun selling the stuff so if you're like me wear your product and make money while you're doing it this is uh, the Nacho Nose Picker for the next few weeks or so signing off. So have fun and uh, make money.